Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty, and I'm excited that you're here with me today for my collab with Matthias Allen, the Hollywood makeup artist. Matthias is the only Hollywood makeup artist with his own YouTube channel, and I'm excited to be doing this collab with Matthias. In fact, he reached out to me, which I thought was incredible because I have been watching his channel for the last several years. A big feature of his channel is helping us more mature, more grown-up women have great skin and great makeup. And when he reached out to me, he offered you all the opportunity to ask several questions of him and he would answer them on camera and then I would demonstrate what he was talking about. And a couple of weeks ago on the YouTube community tab, I put that question out to you all. And one of the main questions you had was how to apply under eye concealer without emphasizing fine lines and wrinkles. Matthias is a Hollywood makeup artist. He was the head makeup artist for several shows on e-television. He's been featured on Netflix, the Hallmark Channel, and Style Network, among others. He's done the makeup for actresses on the red carpet that you would know. And his makeup has graced the covers of magazines and beauty shoots. And I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and click that little bell to be notified of my future videos. But most importantly today, I hope all of you will follow the link to Matthias Allen's collab video. And once you're there, I hope you'll subscribe because you will be totally enriched by his videos. In just a few moments, I'll be coming back to you without concealer around my eyes and will use Matthias tips to apply the concealer. Next, let me let Matthias tell you in his own words how to deal with our concealer problem. Well, Beth, I have gotten that question from so many of my clients over my 20 long years as an educator and a private makeup mentor. And there are so many different variables which will cause concealer to crease or your eye to look more wrinkled or tired, depending on how much makeup you are wearing. Now, a lot of times when I'm working with a client one-on-one, -on -one, either live through my video chat services from anywhere in the world or in my studio here in Hollywood, or through one of my many traveling seminars, I really like to ask my clients specifically what is their lifestyle routine? How much water are they drinking? What serums and lotions and potions are they applying to their skin morning and night? Because these really will make a difference to how your skin is staying hydrated and how it will react once you put makeup on it. But generally speaking, find a concealer that is hydrating and has enough pigment to cover up any of the imperfections or darkness that you're looking to conceal. Also, think about the way that you're applying your concealer. If you are applying your concealer with your fingertips, chances are you're putting it on too heavy. So try using a beauty sponge or a dampened beauty sponge. That will help to sheer out the product and not get it to look so opaque under the eye. And one of my favorite tricks that I've shown on my YouTube channel in many videos under my playlist Beauty Tutorials for Mature Women, I like to take setting spray and actually dampen the beauty sponge with the setting spray and then blend out the concealer. That actually works the setting spray into the product and makes it last longer and become more water resistant and waterproof. And lastly, really think about investing in a loose translucent finishing powder or setting powder. There are so many of my favorites that I've talked about on my channel, but setting your concealer with a light dusting of loose translucent powder is the best way to lock it in so that it doesn't look heavy, cakey, and it wears all day long. Thank you, Matthias, for that great information. So let's go ahead and use Matthias's three-step look to create a great smooth under eye. Now Matthias's first step was to make sure we had good hydration under our eyes and whether that's a moisturizer or a cream for you, whatever it is, just make sure your eyes are very moisturized underneath. I'm going to be using this Color Science 3-in-1 Total Eye Product. I've been using this for about the last month. It is absolutely wonderful. They did send this to me. It is a wonderful little hydrator for under your eyes. In fact, you can use it all over your eyes. I already have my foundation on and I'm just going to go ahead and apply this right over that. A little bit of hydration. It also has an SPF in it of about 30, which is awesome. Gives you a little bit of moisturization there. I am a little more challenged in this area because I'm still dealing with that Mohs incision. In fact, I just derma rolled it the other day, so it's a little bit red. So next I'm going to go in with a little concealer and this is the Flower Beauty Concealer. And I've really been liking this. It's quite highly pigmented, and yet it does not seem to settle into fine lines and wrinkles. I just started using this a few days ago. This is the color light medium, and I really think I could do with light, so I've ordered the light. So next I'm going to do what Matthias recommended, and I'm going to spray this little beauty blender with a little bit of Urban Decay setting spray. And I'm just going to pat that on and shear that out. 
so it does not, ooh, very pretty. Again, I think I really need the light and not the light medium, but you'll just kind of have to use your imagination. Matthias, I think you're right. <laughs> Using the Beauty Blender with a little bit of setting spray really does sheer it out very nicely. Now I'm going to go in with Matthias's step number three, which is a little bit of setting powder under the eyes. And I've really been liking this Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. And there it is. I'll just take a little bit of that. Tap off the brush. Whew, there's a lot of that there. And hopefully that will brighten up a little bit of the yellow I have going. Now since I messed up my blush a little bit, I'm going to go back in with the Flower Beauty blush set that I have here, which is the Sculpt and Contour Palette. But I really, really like this. Very pretty. Well, thank you, Matthias, for helping all of us more grown-up women get more smooth, more beautiful under eyes. And I will say I've been using Matthias Technique for the last two days, and my under eyes have really looked great the whole day. The concealer stays all day without creasing. Now, again, if you're not a subscriber to my channel, I hope you'll subscribe and click that little bell. That will just give you notifications of my future videos. And most importantly, since this is a collab with a Hollywood makeup artist, I hope you'll look at the description underneath the video and click the link and go to see Matthias' video that he has posted today. He's got the other half of our collab video. And in addition to offering us all great makeup advice, he also offers makeup lessons in person at his studio in Hollywood or over the internet through Skype. And I was totally surprised at how reasonable his pricing is. Maybe down the road I can do a little session with him and show you how it works. Now I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, and today is no exception. I've been choosing cards from the Life Loves You card deck by Louise Hay. Okay, let's go ahead and see what God in the universe has in store for us to think about today. Looks like a long one. I connect with nature today. I connect with nature today. Spend time outdoors today. Breathe in the fresh air. Relax under a tree. Take in the whole sky. Notice that nature isn't judging you. This is a fantastic card. I know we're all about makeup here and it's a wonderful hobby and a very creative time, but it's also about feeling good in our second half. And part of that is feeling good physically. And there's nothing like donning our hat and our sunblock and our tennis shoes and getting out and taking a walk in nature. Seeing the birds, seeing the trees, looking at the sky. In addition to giving us great exercise, it gives us a rush of serotonin and endorphins and helps us feel at one with the world. So just for today, I hope you'll don those tennis shoes and get out and take a walk. Take care. See you next time.